backing out of our berth in Lerman Cove. Stephen Tabor. A quick tow off the dock in Rockland Harbor. Is everyone here? And we're off. Day one of our three-day tour, the last of the season, sailing the islands of Penobscot Bay aboard the historic Stephen Tabor. Does anyone want to go sailing? But these sails aren't going to raise themselves. Oh, and we're all going to pull together with both our hands. On this trip, guests like myself are asked to pull a little weight. Two, two, six, two, and two, then a little more. Two more. Just kidding, two more. And then Drop the line, let go. our sails up and filled with wind and free from the sound of an engine. The Tabor doesn't have one. We could be a century and a half in the past. Ask where we're going and you're missing the point. We've already arrived. I like to think that my job is not to tell you not to use your phones. My job is to remove your desire. This is the experience we've come for. A small day boat racing off our stern. Breakwater Lighthouse, Portside. It's a perfect time to meet the crew. My name is Sean Farley. Erin Blue Nolan. My name is Annie Bailey. Wesley Osterhout, and I'm the chef on the Stephen Tabor. I'm deckhand and messmate. I'm a deckhand. And I'm the mate of the Stephen Tabor. In the old days, the Tabor could be run by as few as three strapping sailors with hands of leather and nerves of steel. Today's crew is equally fearless and hardworking. And the same can be said for their captain, who picked up where his parents left off. To be honest, they kind of ambushed me. I was living in New York, working at a marketing firm, and having a pretty good time, but they just called me and said, look, we're retiring. We have some other blokes lined up, but you have first refusal. I think it took two days for me to really think that that was where I belonged. Oh, I've had a crush on this boat since I was six. This Captain Barnes boasts another longtime crush. This gorgeous thing is called Briat Sevrac. That is a bit more cheesy. Some people ask me why I'm into cheese as much as I am, and the answer is I have a mouth. This love of cheese, often locally sourced, is on display daily. Your parents had already elevated the food game, but you've taken it to a whole nother level. My favorite thing to do in the world is to throw a dinner party. This is a dinner party that lasts for a week, and the stuff that we serve often only happens at really good restaurants. And what better way to serve up restaurant quality food than to hire a restaurant quality chef? I was closing my restaurant and I met Noah and I was sold. <laughs> and this boat's built a reputation, really, for excellent food. Yeah, we definitely try to go uh, above and beyond what people might think you would get on the ocean, from, especially from a wood stove. You know, we bring up these fresh baked breads and pies and people are just blown away that it's made on a wood stove. It turns out this is sort of in your blood in a way. My grandfather lived in a sailboat. I grew up off the grid in western Maine and living essentially like this, except in the woods instead of on the water. It is in my blood, I love it. All these herbs right here I just picked from Noah's garden this morning. We try to do things as fresh as possible. And when sailing past lobster boats all day, you can't get any fresher than this. But first, we look for a spot to anchor for the night and opt for the calm waters of Pulpit Harbor. The entrance of the harbor, there's Pulpit Rock, which has had an osprey nest on it for over 500 years. That's kind of cool. Let them grow. Anchor secure, we enjoy 360 degree views of North Haven Island. Many of these houses are empty now as the summer residents have gone, but there's one year-round resident who is close by, and Captain Barnes invites him to motor by with a very special treat. Yeah, we have some goodies coming. Oh my God, all right, well let's talk about kitchens. All ship kitchens are small, but those quarters look particularly tight. Yes, the galley is small, <laughs> and Chef Wesley will tell you the reason for that is because the previous chef, who was Ellen Barnes, was rather diminutive, and therefore it was easy for her to work through. Not so easy for everybody else, but they certainly make do. Ellen Barnes, by the way, has her own cookbook out, so if you want to see some of her recipes, wow. that's available as well. And you said the food well. was great. Fantastic. All right. Meet an oyster man whose work is in high demand. 